<laughs> so um, moving on, you know, we've, it's, been a, it's been a dark show. We're talking about serious things, about the ways in which, you know, governments and the media dehumanize inconvenient populations that they'd rather not, you know, mm-hmm. have around or it's, deal it's with. It's been a real weenie killer. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's been. <laughs> and I have a reading series this week, The Perfect Person to Check In On, that touches on this issue, but does so in the most hilarious way possible. I'm talking about Rod Dreher. Ooh. It's too damn normal. It's been, wow, it's it's been, been a, a while. Minute. It's been a while since it's we checked. It's been a while <laughs> since we talked about Rod Dreher and all those bathrooms I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while since we've uh, checked in with Brother Rod. Uh, shout out to Roy and Rosso for founding this, this Rod piece. It's a Rod Dreher post from this week that he, uh, in which he decides to take on the phenomenon that's been happening as of, as of late that we've talked about on the last show with Jake Flores of uh, white people being filmed calling the cops and shrieking at uh, <laughs> minorities and black people on the street. Uh, uh, she's t- he's talking about the barbecue lady, the, the, the viral video of the uh, woman calling the cops on those people in Oakland for uh, grilling. Oh, yeah. This is coming on the heels of a week where we saw the amazing <laughs> Aaron Schlossberg, yeah. the viral video star who is in not just one, but yep. three separate videos <laughs> filmed by three different people of three distinct instances of this guy behaving like a psychopath yeah. on the streets that of New York. That dude is the zealot of racism. <laughs> yeah. He, he, so it's been a big week for the uh, very specific type of guy that Schlossberg is, which is the steakhouse and statement watch guy. Yes. Yeah. Schlossberg <laughs> is like, he has like a David Blaine early tape. Of racism. <laughs> to several different locations around New York. And he's like, I was hideously racist to a black person here. Actually, got a Salvadorian here. You'd never guess who I threatened to call ICE on here. Yeah. So, and, and, and as you said, there are three different videos, all funnier than the last. Yeah. He just I kept out doing himself. And then, the, of course, and then the videos after that of him running away from the media yes. were. Yes. Or he's hiding underneath an umbrella for five minutes. Yep. <laughs> Going, and, please and, help. And then whisk, you can hear him from behind the umbrella at one point go, Please send help. Yes. And that, that made my week. Yep. So, Please send what? The Proud Boys? <laughs> it's a new superhero that only protects racist guys. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's been a lot of these videos going around. So, you know, there's, there's going to be people who have to find a way to be like, now, this looks bad for the people in the videos, but actually what's really bad is the people taking the videos. Ooh. And the mob mentality. Shout out to Julia Rafi for that fucking stinker. Yeah. Julia Rafi, you know, Yaffe. She's, her immediate instinct is to take the side of the monstrous asshole yeah. and not the people who are deservedly mocking his downfall. Yeah. I, I honestly don't give a shit about Julia Rafi. Like, it's just I feel like every week it's like we have a new media asshole like that who I've never heard of. I'm like, yeah, they suck. OK, but the one funny thing about it was when she's like, look, I'm a political refugee. And she was bored during perestroika. <laughs> yeah. Moved here, when he, moved here when she was three. Yeah, by that, like, I'm a refugee. The Midwest is very cold. Yeah. So, Rod Dreher, back to Rod, he, he's, done, he's done a take on the barbecue lady video Yeah. that goes to some pretty extraordinary places. <laughs> right. And Kendall I'd like to... Powers. And by, by the way, the funniest part of the video is the end of it, where the police come. She and, starts crying. And she starts crying and saying, I've been victimized. So, Rod begins. Checkmate. <laughs> did, did you see the video of the white woman in Oakland who called the cops on some black people who yes, were cooking next question. in a public park with a charcoal grill? My view is this. Unless they've set up the grill in your house or in the ICU, you leave people with charcoal grills alone mm-hmm. because they are contributing to the sum total of human happiness. Mm-hmm. Now, you think Rod, Rod is setting right. this up like, oh, mm, he's, he's a he's, reasonable he's man. He's going to take a that's, reasonable that's a, point. That's a yeah. brave bipartisan pro-grilling yeah. stance hey, hey, that we can all get behind. Yeah. Right, fellas? Yeah, hey, Charles, this motherfucker, or Hank Hill. He he goes on and on, and he says again, "I believe the white woman may have been technically correct, but was morally wrong." <laughs> wow. wow! Oh my god, that is the old Rod I know. Yeah, it drops got, off immediately, right back into the game. You can't ignore technical correctness when you see it. Okay? Well, she says, Rod. Rod yeah. Every every Rod article, he can hold it together for like maybe a sentence and a half, and he's yep. like, "Y'all mind if I wow out?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like it'll start out be like, "Of course, I don't think you should go into a bathroom with the Spaz Twelve automatic shotgun with a flashlight attached. That's yeah. not good, people." Try- but the guy you know, who there's did several it. exceptions. Yeah, yeah. Racist this- lady, you are technically correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> but, she said, but he no, he does say she was technically correct, but morally wrong. Mm-hmm. And besides, she's a pill. So you okay. think. 
<laughs> you think that's I like can, the, I can relate uh, to She's this an guy. old maid. Oh, yeah. God, the, this Stedford <laughs> wife motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so she go, he goes, maybe the barbecue griper is a racist, but we have no reason to assume that. No. Maybe she's just a petty Hero. Maybe she's just a petty person who sees a violation of the law and went all nanny state. So he's going uh, on and on like this. And uh, yeah, maybe she's just an asshole yeah. that we would all hate anyway. Maybe she's a Democrat. Yeah, he, I like how he's actually saying she's a liberal, actually. He, so, that's, that's a rod, like, behind the back pass. Absolutely. That's his sneaky play. <laughs> yeah. that's, why, that's why you play the game. That's so, why he's the best, dude. <laughs> so so here's, where, here's, where, here's where it gets interesting. Uh, you know, Rod describes what happened in his inimitable fashion mm. and creates several outs for this woman to <laughs> be anything other than what she appears as. So he goes here. He goes, here's a story. So Rod's dipping back into his mind palace for instances from his real life <laughs> oh, that he's going to share. Oh, no. So, I, I, was, I was just calmly barbecuing in my own backyard, and somebody said, hey, whitey. <laughs> no, he goes, here's... Michelle Obama called me whitey. <laughs> <laughs> here's a story. Here's a story. We lived in an apartment complex not too long ago. There were three young unmarried guys living in the flat above ours. They would get loud on the weekend. We decided that being good neighbors meant that, that we should put up with banging and hooting until 10 p.m. <laughs> but, but not... I'll, I'll, put up, I'll put up with hooting, but not for a second will I tolerate hollering. Uh, but not after that, because that was bedtime. Okay. The first few occasions, we went up to ask them to knock it off. They were nice about it, but then they got obnoxious, usually after they had been drinking. Mm -hmm. Finally, one night, after multiple attempts to, attempts to ask them to stop... We had to call the apartment security people. We didn't want to be those neighbors, but they left us no choice. The difference is that those bad neighbors were causing actual harm, yelling and banging on the floor and playing loud music until late in the night. <laughs> harm. They were literally harm. slapping the floor <laughs> yeah. like with hammers. Yeah. They were play they were they were auditioning for an off Broadway production of Stomp. Yeah. yeah, I'm picturing Rod's neighbors just like a conga line of three men wearing lampshades <laughs> over their head. Okay. <laughs> You you try living below a old timey jug band where one person will not stop scraping on a washboard let me, let me tell and the you other story. is th that's the is thing blowing into a jug at all hours of the night. That's the thing. Rod Rod is one of those people who like his experiences are formed by movies, but because he's like sort of like a vintage, weird, like vintagey guy, yeah. all those movies are like Actually, just radio plays like Fibber McGee and Molly. And he's, he's like, like, yeah, you know what young men do, just hooting and hollering. Let me, tell you, Was let, I me, let me tell you the story of when I lived next to the Fat Albert gang. And they were playing Look, drums on track I, I used to have an apartment that was beneath the rehearsal space for Gold Diggers of 33. <laughs> Look, what, do I regret the fact that the country... Uh, Bear Jamboree was massacred by the police after I called them on them? Yes. But I still think I was in the right. Roger, you're walking into a Chuck E. Cheese and just seeing it in Terminator vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, here's where it gets interesting. Though. So he goes, um, the people grilling in the park were not harming Barbecue Griper one bit. Barbecue Griper? Bar <laughs> uh, bar Barbecue Griper replied to your post. Interesting, interesting take from a neo cuck bug man. Uh, barbecue Griper, uh, still. Had the jerks upstairs been three young black guys, not yeah. white guys, uh -huh. I wonder if I would have said anything to them at all for fear of them turning it into a racial confrontation. <laughs> if, I just... if, I had, if I had called apartment security on them, like I eventually did with the white guys after they ignored our repeated requests to stop banging on the floor, would they have confronted me in the parking lot with a smartphone Ooh. camera calling me a racist Whoa. and distributing it to He's social right. media? He's right. a crisis in this country of white people being know, afraid want, to call the police. The Okay, and turning me into a racist pariah, that griping white woman's life must be miserable today now that she's become a meme. Yeah. Who wants that? I noticed that many places on the internet celebrating the public shaming of the white woman never stop to ask whether or not this is a proportionate to her offense. Mm -hmm. What I love here is that this is a favorite tactic of mine among all the conservative intelligentsia, and that is inventing scenarios yes. in their head and then getting angry at what happens yes. in their imagination. So, watch, looking at this story of this obviously racist or incredibly anal retentive woman, yeah. like either she's a racist or she is the most psychotically rule fixated person on, in, on earth, making this ridiculously wasteful call to the cops in this situation. It made Rob Dreher mad at imaginary <laughs> black men. Yep. Yes. Yep.
I love Black that. men who literally do not exist. Yep. And I love that Rod's fear, it wasn't like, oh, oh, you know, they'll kill me with their hip hop gun. It's like <laughs> his usual type of thing. It's like, they're going to make me into a meme. Yeah. They're yeah. Gonna, oh, no, they're going to post me and say that they had to do it to him. Yeah. That's it. Does she really deserve that to become a meme? Yeah. Like, like, damn Daniel. By the way, I also like about does, Rod. Does a man deserve to be dabbed on just because he's trying to sleep? <laughs> what, I li- what I also like about Rod here is that he says, like, uh, imagine being turned into a pariah. You're Mr. Benedict option. You want yeah. to be a pariah. Yeah, yeah. I live in saying, the fucking woods. Yeah, imagine being exposed uh, for all your weird so, and creepy yeah, fantasy. Yeah, you yeah. do it yourself, Rod. You, yeah, you, you look, volunteer it. You write a column every week where it's like, well, yeah, I saw another piece of driftwood that looked like a nipple. <laughs> definitely yeah. whipped myself. I have thrown my computer into the river. Yeah. Anyway, just answer the question. So he goes, yeah, if he's so worried about becoming a meme, someone should have him listen to the show. Yeah, exactly. We've turned this motherfucker into a meme plenty of times. I don't, I don't think Rod is a meme. Like he, it's too inaccessible for people. It's like, imagine. So in the past year, Rod is lore. He's not a meme. Lore, right. yeah. Rod is right. lore. So you can, you probably are just barely getting to the point where you can explain to like extended family members what your job is. Yes. Imagine now explaining to them what Rod Dre is. <laughs> can you so, picture yourself doing that? Uh, Real point of clarification: The woman who recorded uh, Kenny Powers' lady, the barbecue, <laughs> the barbecue griper, uh. is named Michelle Snyder. Uh, she's another white woman and Rod writes here but it's easy to imagine yourself tormented by a harridan like Michelle Snyder the woman with the camera phone and knowing what came next for her national infamy thanks to social media is pretty horrifying this is the next paragraph if you read Ta-Nehisi Coates big book wow (laughs) no so he allowed Rod to get his hands on that he then goes on to quote extensively from Ta-Nehisi and then quote his own review of Nahisi, Ta-Nehisi Coates' sure. book at length. Here's where it gets really good, guys, when Rod dips into the mail bag. Oh. So, so th- yeah. th- this, this is pretty good so far, yeah. right, guys? Yeah, Rod, yeah. yeah, like Rod just spit a hot 32, and he's like, let me get some uh, little homies on a beat. <laughs> okay. We have uh, Terrified in, in Baton Rouge. Yeah. No, I just, Rod, Rod, now that we're Rod, done, there's a shape in my closet look, that looks like a new era cap with the sticker still on. I shot 87 bullets into there. <laughs> yeah, Rod, because, is that normal? Yes. Before we get to that, just we need to re- Examine what we have seen here, which is that Rob Dreyer saw a story mm. of a woman who is clearly racially panicked mm. and called the cops on people who were doing literally nothing. Yeah. And his thought was, yeah, but what if they had been doing something? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, wait till you get to this reader. This oh, is update no. number two. Reader Dunn writes, and by the way, <laughs> as, a, as a longtime fan of Rod's, there is an open question in the Rod community yeah. whether these reader letters are just Rod yeah, right. writing to yeah. himself. I yeah. honestly think that we are, we are witnessing a M. Night Shyamalan joint okay. here. No, Rod this is, is split two. Yeah. Fuck L- that. Rod listen, is the child from St. Elsewhere. Yeah. Yes. L- listen to this. The, the snow globe is just a fucking bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> Note to Rod, this is going to be a rant, so feel free to edit or even toss. Oh, I'll boy. understand. You are now entering the <laughs> rant zone. Yes. That's right, the rant zone, babe. Still ranting after, after all, all these, these years. years. Yep, that was great. All right. This, okay, this, this reader letter is incredible. Okay. He goes, uh-huh. reader done, writes, okay, I've read most of the comments. Clearly none of you live in Oakland. If you did, I'm, I'm certain your reactions to this incident would be different. If you were sane, that is. I know because I've lived there for over 20 years, including near Lake Merritt, the location of this incident. First, let's dispense with the notion that this was a racially motivated incident between a white woman and some black folks. This lady is not white. Repeat after what? me. <laughs> the lady is not white. What? It is clear to me from her facial features and body oh! type that her racial and ethnic background is mixed. Possibly oh. white and Pacific Islander. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not see that coming. I and this is this began with like this began with like feel free to edit this. And, and Rod, like what what did Rod what 
did Rod take out that this is what remains? Oh so he's setting up this whole thing where it's just like, why do we always assume that this is racial? And his yeah. reader, his fan, is like, I'm an expert in skull types and yeah. faplo yeah. groups. Yeah. This woman is not white. Yeah. Look, this woman who is, a, is at least one thirty second Uyghur. So yeah. there goes, she is not white. He goes possibly white and Pacific Islander, which would not be uncommon in the Bay Area. <laughs> the, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, Commander Dreyer, the area is crawling with mixed types of. Uh, Listen to this. Islandoids. Listen to this. When you live in a racially and ethnically diverse area for a long time, you begin to detect and distinguish ethnic and racial differences (laughs) and any combinations thereof that often go unnoticed by people who have not been exposed to such racial and ethnic... Non-psychopaths. Who have not been exposed to such racial and ethnic diversity. Again... The race mixing Terminator. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy's yeah. sitting in fucking uh, like El Pollo Loco in line and just like evaluating the he's racial doing breakdown, and me, like by his vision of everyone he sees, and then he's like. Mm, people who don't live here would never be able to distinguish <laughs> yeah. that this person is a Friesian. I have always wondered about Northern California because my favorite and the most uh, one of the most uh, in mentally unwell at times. MMA fighters are from there. The Diaz brothers. Dan Quinn is from there. It's a absurd area. The people there see the people there seem to love driving around in their cars and making videos addressed at their enemies, then crashing their cars. <laughs> yes. Well, we're gonna and, get- but then it's like then you see this. Like this guy who like gets behind people's Toyota Siennas and like licks the tire track <laughs> and goes and goes, uh, that's a Polynesian type. <laughs> and it's like, oh, the Ones I know about are the most normal ones. Yeah. Like Dan Quinn is probably a pillar in his community for yes. Northern California. Guys, it's not just it, this. This letter gets even more normal. As it <laughs> oh, goes wow. How? I can't second, there's a second point he's making. I'm going to play the sex card here, even though I don't normally do this. Yes. But whoa, sex card. the what? comments here are pretty well sexist. Nosy, busybody, mm. killjoy, grouchy, old. Oh, sure. She's a regular Mrs. Kravitz. Google the reference if you don't get it. It's Lady, Kra- it's Lady Kravitz's Kravitz. mom, and I will tell you what race that bitch is. I always get the reference that's for Bewitched. Yep. Yeah, I'm fairly certain most of you wouldn't have used those words to describe her if she were a man. Why don't you just toss in frigid for good measure? <laughs> just saying. Next, let me explain to everyone how things work in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Oh. Oh. Nobody, and I mean nobody, respects common courtesy and the rule of law. Not to mention bothers to comport themselves appropriately in public spaces. Mm. The area around Lake Merritt is in complete chaos <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Again, if you see the video, it's a beautiful yeah, part. It's by a completely a normal San scene Bay. in a Literally park. Literally just standing it's around <laughs> cooking meat <laughs> on a grill. It's chaos. No one will tell me what race they are. <laughs> are they even playing music? I don't even remember if there's like... No, loud... there's no music. They're just standing there making f- food. He Why would... The... He yelled at them because they were playing, playing like Kenny Chesney, and they're like, he's like, this is fucking up my spreadsheets. Yeah. This is one of the race identifiers I use. All the time. Why was this petty, nosy, busybody, so-called white woman calling the police so- over, <laughs> over, <laughs> such, over such a seemingly innocuous oh. incident as people wanting to barbecue using charcoal? Um... Maybe because the city of Oakland is located in a severe high fire danger area and it's against the law. Oakland Hills fire of 1991. Anyone (laughs) Google images. I survived it. (laughs) (laughs) But it wasn't. But that's the thing. It wasn't illegal to cook there. It was that they were using. I don't even fucking remember. It was. That's how uh, petty it was. It was like. They weren't using the ones that were provided. They were using their own or vice versa. Either way. It, it, it was, was a main thing that no was normal inane. human being <laughs> sorry, would see another person doing that and think, I got to call the police. Can we stop disrespecting the experience of a fire survivor? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Th- this guy, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's, one, one, of, he's one of mine. I yeah. see him in the meetings. But yeah, he, he survived get, he, the open come get fire. Your man. Yeah, yeah. This, this, come get your man, this, Felix. This guy, he's transcended, but this is the most Seth Rogen observe and report guy. Oh, I yes. Ever. He is. Just I observed in my perimeter <laughs> that there was someone violating <laughs> fire codes. Yeah. By the way, all I remember, all I know about the uh, Oakland Hills fires of 1991 is that it was one of the disaster scenarios you could play in SimCity 2000. It yeah. was. Yeah. It ruled. That inflicted. And it was caused by a 
by a rowdy pack of black hooligans yeah. barbecuing without a permit. Yeah, dude, you think SimCity is hard? Try playing it on expert race identifier <laughs> mode. Okay, so you Your goes, city has no police, so the National Guard has been deployed. Yeah. So uh, going on from uh, the Travis Bickle's diary, <laughs> he goes, and why does a citizen have to report someone breaking the law? Because people regularly, openly, and brazenly break the law in Oakland, and asking them nicely does, to desist does not work. And what does the Oakland, poli- P- Oakland PD do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's why she was waiting for over two hours for the police to respond. I'm surprised they came at all. My car was stolen, and did the police come when I reported it? No. <laughs> Owned. Yeah. So he, dude, this, this goes on and on and on, and he goes, uh, talking about miscreants in his neighborhood, <laughs> threatening to kill him, and then uh, just on and on and on. I live by bullshit. this young man named Dennis who's constantly <laughs> yeah. getting in my business, yeah. stealing pies from this my windows. This is the only guy left in America who gets bullied by a gang that's like, Jeff Goldblum with a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> this young, this, this 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 young man named Bart destroyed my yeah. memoirs. Yeah. And my, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. His father is also bad, but I don't remember what was the name of the man. Yeah. I don't remember. By the way, my mental image of this person is conservative grandpa. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah. Like, but that's the thing is that that's clearly a crank. Yeah, that's a maniac, and like many neighborhoods have just a psychotic person who cannot handle other people existing, and is just driven to abstraction by other people op- like being in their f- field of vision. But the fact that fucking Rod felt like he needed to give this maniac yeah. that much real estate in his column yep. really speaks to how Rod, for all of his pretensions to being some sort of, some sort of neo-fucking uh, gothic intellectual, is just a cranky fucking weirdo. Oh, yeah. Matt, Matt. <laughs> It goes on like, so he goes, what I see from this video is a relatively reserved woman reporting illegal behavior and being absolutely harangued by the woman filming the incident who assumed, one, that this woman was white, and two, oh. that she was motivated <laughs> by she, I'm sorry, but did this woman have calipers? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, if you do not have calipers on your person, you are not qualified to speak on the race of anyone who you are interacting with. Well, if you live in Oakland for 20 years, you get the perk that lets you identify races and puts it on the mini map. OMG, are you kidding me? The woman who filmed the incident and browbeat the other woman to tears should be ashamed of herself. I think her behavior even meets the requirements of menacing. And another criminal statute. This guy's so excited. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. He's got the entire okay. California criminal goes, code uh, tattooed on the inside of his eye. He goes, uh, there's, you know, SJW virtue signaling, PC bullshit, run amok. Check. He says PC BS, run amok. Check. He goes, this is my favorite part. And now this poor woman is being viciously attacked on social media. Have you seen the memes? <laughs> They're brutal. <laughs> <laughs> so... It goes on like this for another thousand words, sure. at least, talking about a pregnant woman who was shot and killed in Oakland. Just, just okay. death wish, yeah. everything. It goes on and on. Murder. You, you let somebody cook in a public park, and then the next day, they're massacring pregnant He's women. He's going, civility and decency are dead in Oakland. Right. They're dead in California, and soon they'll be dead in the entire United States. Going on, uh, cold-blooded murder in broad daylight. Blah, blah, blah. Keep it up, Oakland. Pretty soon there won't be one decent law-abiding citizen left. White person. Because Wink. lawlessness and incivility are rewarded and responsible citizenship is vilified. Decent person means non-Polynesian white. <laughs> Rod's, Rod's <laughs> postscript to this gigantic letter is, any Oakland or former Oakland readers want to challenge this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but if I don't have any other readers who are completely insane and live in this guy's zip code, I'm going to have to take what he says for granted. I'm hey, sorry. Hey, Rod. Hey, Rod. Hey Rod uh, another reader from Oakland here. Yeah, you know, uh, I may have uh, gone on a different uh, skill tree than this guy. I could usually only identify types of Latinos. This guy seems to have the Pacific <laughs> Islander yeah. perk. But, I mean, I remember uh, some of these stories. There was one story I read about a woman in... Uh, it wasn't that app, but it was one of those Facebook groups yeah, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah. Neighborhood yeah, Watch Yeah, the Neighborhood people. Watch thing. Yeah, and yeah. it was... A teen showed up at her door with a solo cup because they were going to a party in the neighborhood and they didn't know where it was. And, and he said, is this this person's house? And they said, no, and they left. And she took a picture of him and she put a post where she said, there are teens running around the neighborhood. They might have a- cups of acid. <laughs> they might be throwing acid at you. <laughs> 
Oh my There's God. something about suburbia that makes people mostly Not the insane. drug acid. Oh, like throwing acid no, in No, literal face. acid in your face. Like well, we could do an entire stuff. episode about suburbia. I would, we, I, yeah, no, suburban mania is important. I, but the thing I, I, I want to point out is that, is that the guy says, uh, all this law is being violated and no one is doing it. And the thing is, is that every person listening to this violates the law every fucking day. Everyone does. I'm violating three of Everyone them right now. Everyone violates the law all the fucking time. And what matters materially is who gets held accountable right. for it. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a racial caste system, essentially, is yeah. that everybody is like just trying to live their life. Some people violate statutes, and the statutes that get fucking uh, enforced are the statutes that are enforced by racial strata. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing to remember. So this motherfucker acting like Oh, you people, you're you're flaunting the law. No, that everyone's flaunting the law all the time. It's it's these people who are being disproportionately uh, uh, enforced on laws that everybody breaks all the time. Thanks, boner law. I think, it, thank you for the measured response to the guy who sleeps in a ghillie suit in well, Oakland. I just to just, Rod just, Rod just, Rader, just, just to close out on on this, Rod. Uh, what I like about here is Rod begins attempting to make like a point that a normal human being would, but ends up going completely opposite yep. and inescapably one would have to conclude that either Rod himself or his readers are all deeply insane. 